Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to go over how you would uh, add a new elevator system within a scene. So this is a so f for example, if you wanted to have more than one elevator uh, shaft in in your level, um, uh, this this video is going to show you how to do that. So you click on your uh, elevator shaft uh, game object. So here is the ten floor system, and just duplicate that. And then just drag that across. So now you'll have two systems. Um, but uh, just, just a few things that you need to do in order for the second system to work properly. Uh, you need to relink the uh, the LED display, right? That's the thing. Uh, so because this LED display here, right here, this thing that you see right here, that's actually uh, controlled by a material. Uh, so it's it's actually controlled by like uh, uh, material offsets. So if you if you look at the LED floor, it's basically uh, just one big texture. And I just basically what I do is for each floor, I just kind of uh, just change the the UV offsets so it specifies the floor. So uh, the thing is, when you have more than one elevator uh, system inside of your level, you need to add uh, extra material so I can so the code can manipulate the uh, the extra material so basically that allows you to have uh, like two different LED displays one for here for one for the uh, original shaft and one for your new shaft so so you need to have uh, two uh, materials for the code to manipulate so anyways uh, to do that what you do is you go to the new the new elevator system that you created and then you make sure that you have another LED uh, make sure that you have uh, a new uh, material system for that so in this in this scene right here we have two elevator shafts and and since I already I already created a new uh, material I, uh, I'm, I'm all good to go so so the one on the left will use the uh, original material called LED floor and the one on the right that I created will be assigned to this new material so to do that you just uh, click on the various meshes that will use that material so the first mesh that we want to reassign is uh, so we click on the elevator box prefab also we need to make sure that it that is linked to the new material and then we click on the we find the elevator mesh which is called elevator box so that right now this elevator box uses uh, five different materials and one of which is the LED display inside of the mesh so uh, so we make sure that that one is pointing to the uh, the new material and then uh, the second step we need to do is we need to assign uh, the material for all of these new frames. So yeah, it's a bit tedious, but uh, I I don't really have a better way of doing this. So uh, just to find the the mesh for that frame, it's it's just called floor frame mesh. So each of these floors have that this mesh, and right at the moment, right now, it's currently. Uh, assigned to that material, so we just have to assign it to uh, the, the new material that we, we just created. <clears throat> so we do that for each floor. Uh, so a quick way of doing that is just opening all of the meshes, oh, sorry, all of the mid frames, and then going and finding that 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 mesh right here for each of them. So it's underneath door frame prefab. Mm -hmm. Opening that, open that, open that, open that, open that, open that. Okay, so now we should see all of the floor frame meshes. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, seven, eight, nine, and then the last one we already reassigned it so uh, yeah we don't need to reassign it again so yeah so we, we click on all nine of those meshes and then we just assign it to the new material boom so now that should be it now we have uh, two elevator systems and they each have their own uh, LED material so when we play press play uh, so each of these shafts will be uh, uh, displaying their proper floor uh, 
for, for that for that particular elevator system. So so right now this one is on, on floor five. And if we go to this uh, elevator shaft, it's on, currently on floor three. So that's uh, so that's that's how you set up uh, a new elevator system. So if we didn't do this, if we didn't relink the uh, the 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 LED material to this to the new material, uh, this display would be showing uh, the, the the floor of that floor. So so yeah, obviously that's not what we wanted. So we we need to do this. Yeah, for for the new system. So yeah, so every time you create a new elevator system within a scene, so uh, so for for example, if you know your scene has oh I need like four elevator shafts, uh, and then you you just you just have to uh, create another <coughs> material. So here's three, and then like if we want to have four, we'll just create four, and then duplicate that. So yeah, we'll have one of these. Uh, we'll have uh, a, a, an LED floor material for each of these uh, elevator systems, and and that's that's important because uh, if you don't do that, it's each of the elevator shafts will won't be able to display their proper uh, uh, the, the 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 location that their floor is on the 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 floor that the elevator shaft uh, the elevator car is in. Uh, so yeah, uh, so that's how you you do a duplicate elevator system within one scene.